I have worked really hard to create a normal, stable life for my two kids. But for most of my life, I was living with a dark secret. I had this double life as a stripper and a sex addict. I don't think anybody really knew the true me. The first time I had consensual sex was at the age of 14, and it was um, one of my classmates from school. It was a very small school, so people are going to talk. Oh, she's easy. My parents had no idea that I was having sex in junior high, let alone with so many partners. More people than I care to remember. By the time I was 18, I was having at least six orgasms in a day. For me, it's like you get into this trance and you're gonna end with an orgasm and that's the high. There was a lot of partners and it would go into the spurts of multiple partners and the one night stand, it's kind of like the vicious cycle, you have sex, then you feel ashamed that you have sex, so you go out and you have some more sex and it just goes on and on and on and on. The stripping lifestyle was definitely high. You could get multiple partners easy. It was like having sex all day. As a stripper, you think, this is the best job ever. Well, yeah, it's the best job because it's feeding the addiction. I was having affairs during the first marriage. And that was when I met my second husband in the strip club. And then we had two boys. I wasn't having any affairs, and I think that that was a point where I was gonna get better and everything's gonna change. I was married over three years before, I just gave up and just started having affairs. My second marriage lasted for 10 years, and my sex addiction had a lot to do with why the marriage fell. And now my kids don't have that stable family life, and that's sad for me.